Hello everyone. So we are back with another declutter on my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my lipstick collection. Now, this is not going to include really, really glossy lipsticks, kind of these hybrid formulas. Not to say that there aren't formulas in here that I think are really innovative and different, but they kind of fall a little bit in line with a more traditional lipstick. I need my lipsticks to number one, be flattering on the lips. Have you ever bought a lipstick that everyone's talking about and then you put it on your lips and it looks dry and crackly and you can see every lip line? That is not what I like and that's not what I will accept. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all all different finishes, more shiny, satins, sheer, full pigment lipsticks. And at the end of the day, I hope you really enjoy it and find it helpful. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Amanda. I'm doing a lot of spring cleaning right now, but overall, the goal here on my channel is to make incredibly helpful videos so that you guys can find the right formulas for you. I really hope to have you back, so make sure to subscribe. Now, I think I always like to start off with something a little bit more manageable just to get things going. So these lipsticks from Merit are certainly one of my favorite launches of recent years from a new brand. Um, and I will say that the Merit Signature Lips are also my favorite product from Merit. So let's dive into the colors because I think that when a brand comes out with such a, such a beautifully curated color selection, they're automatically setting the launch up to be something different. The colors somehow feel both on trend and classic, which I think, I mean, at the end of the day, I love a classic makeup look. So these just feel very classic to me. First up, we have the shade Slip a softer brown and I think this is just a very unique shade you don't you don't see a lot of brands coming out with a brown like this usually it's just a little bit stronger next we have the shade tiger which is one of my favorite shades beautiful these kind of terracotta shades I personally find to be incredibly flattering and I, I just wish more people would try them out. Next, we have the shade Fashion. Now, admittedly, I haven't really used this that much. It's gotten lost, so I will give you guys a swatch. It's pretty much a perfect shade for the spring. Honestly, really stunning. If you do like a very light base with just a touch of mascara in this shade, ugh, it's, it's just gonna be pretty, I, I guarantee it. Next, we have another favorite of mine, which is Le Avenue. And the reason I really love this shade is it, is it really captures the essence of a brown berry and the magic that is brown berries, in my opinion. I mean, even before Clinique Black Honey kind of had its major virality resurgence moment, I mean, Merit was just very subtly coming out with these, again, these kind of classic shades. Next, we have 1990, of course. It's a great 90s shade. You can see it's a little bit more cool toned versus slip. And I I love it. I think it's great. I love a good cool tone. I think a lot of you guys know that by now. And then last we have the shade Baby. Here is Baby. As an everyday shade, I don't think you can, you can do better. But those are all of the shades. What you're noticing probably at this point is that these aren't full pigment. These are not super matte or super glossy. I think the balance of this lipstick is why I always go back to them. They're satin, so they're not overly glossy. They're not going to overtake a look. They have a really nice pigmentation to them. You can certainly build them up. They're never going to be like intense full pigment, but I gotta tell you guys, often I'm not going for like a major full pigment lipstick on an everyday basis. There's just something to me about these Merit lipsticks. It feels like a perfected everyday lip product. 
super comfortable. They don't exaggerate lip lines or look chalky. I can't really say enough good things about them. I think that they are one of my favorite lipsticks, certainly in the top five lip products, probably. So all of that's to say is that I am keeping all of these. I'm really excited about this lipstick from Givenchy. The Le Rouge Sheer Velvet Lipstick. And the reason I really enjoy it is because it's more sheer. I think a sheer lipstick is honestly pretty underrated in my opinion. This is the shade 17. And the main difference I see in a formula like this versus the Merit is that there's a little bit more of a softening kind of quality to this. It has a little bit more silicone in it. So it's just a bit more spreadable. And on the lips, it'll end up looking more like a lipstick, lip stain, kind, you know, that kind of blurred blotted look rather than just a true satin lipstick like the Merit. Something I don't like about it though, which is probably, I'm, I mean, you guys let me know. I do know one other person that doesn't like velvet and that's my sister. I don't, I'm not a fan of velvet. I don't like the way it feels. It, it gives me anxiety. I don't know, I've always been like that since I was a kid. But anyway, I am certainly keeping this one. I, I definitely need to feature this more on my channel. Now, this is a lipstick that I just actually mentioned in my Sephora savings event video. It's from Laura Mercier and it is the Rouge Essentiel Silky Cream Lipstick. And this is the shade Au Natural. Just cannot get over this color. Not, not just the color though. The formula is really beautiful for a creamy lipstick in a sense that I think some creamy lipsticks look a little bit too heavy and thick on the lips so that you can kind of see the ring of color on your lips. And that is something I just, I don't like. I know that some people don't even notice it, but for me, I notice it. I want the lipstick to be creamy, but you know, not sitting so obviously on top of the lips. This somehow gives me really rich creamy pigment. It has a nice satin silky finish, but it does not do that. Also, this color is for me like a really perfect 90s lip. Very comfortable on the lips. It's not too dark for my skin tone, but it also like brings the impact. I think if you have more of a medium skin tone, this could potentially be an absolutely beautiful like everyday shade for you. I love the magnetic closure. I'm super interested in some other shades potentially of this, but just know that this is one lipstick that, that I have just really been enjoying. If I speak very highly about a lipstick and then I forget to say whether or not I'm decluttering it, you can assume that I'm keeping it. Let's talk Gucci lip products. Now I also have one of the Gucci lip balms, but that is not a lipstick, it is a lip balm. And I definitely have another one of their satin lipsticks. Um, what is this? This is goldy red. Where, where are you? As I found it, and also I found my new Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipstick from NARS. I'll talk about this one in a second. So I have a bunch of different formulas from Gucci. I want to kind of walk you through these formulas and the ones that I really think are worth it. Should I zoom you guys in a little bit? First of all, we're going to start with my favorite of the formulas. Stay... <laughs> Stay over there. The Rouge Oliveras uh, Volet. Holy crap. Please do not, <laughs> please do not judge my pronunciation. I beg of you. And I will leave everything that I'm talking about today linked down below. But essentially, these are Gucci's satin lipsticks. And I have two shades. I have the shade Mildred Rosewood, which is absolutely my favorite it's ugh, it's beautiful again if you think about an everyday luxury sort of product that's when i think of this product from gucci what i notice in this product versus like the merit is that this has a little bit more tack like there's just a little bit more shine to these though they're not shiny 
and they feel just a touch more translucent um, versus the ones from Merit. The Merit has a touch more creaminess, N not to say that the Merit are fully pigmented, but I just notice it more with them. And then I also have, I, I will talk about you in a second. I also have the shade uh, Goldie Red, which is a very iconic shade to Gucci. I'm really happy that I tried it out myself. There is, I don't know what to say about it. There is something very sophisticated about the formula. I mean, not to mention the packaging. This is some of the most beautiful packaging um, that I own. I'm telling you everything about this feels luxurious, but the formula is still very effortless. And you know, everyone has a different opinion on luxury beauty. I really like luxury beauty that you can see yourself using on an everyday basis or a lot in general. And these are that for me. Now, I will say I do slightly prefer the ones from Merit because one, I think because I've just found more shades that I love in the Merit, it's easier to do that because they're a little bit less expensive, but also the Gucci has a scent. You know, it's a little bit more of like a powdery um, floral scent, which I know not everyone enjoys. It's definitely not my first pick. I would much rather something unscented like the Merit or even like vanilla or, or even van vanilla, you know, whatever. But it is Gucci's signature scent. All that's to say is that if you don't like a strong floral, you're probably better off going with the Merit. But if you don't mind a floral, if you want like that little piece of elegance in your makeup routine, I do like these a lot. This is my next favorite. It is, it is the matte lipstick from Gucci. This is my favorite packaging out of all of them. It I understand like it's kind of boring in comparison, but for me, I just, this is just what I always used to fantasize about when I would go into like my grandmother's vanity and like look at all of her lipsticks i always would fantasize about having something this beautiful this formula just it's incredibly velvety and it does have a nice blur to it that isn't obnoxious it doesn't kind of create that weird film of silicone that some of these matte formulas do and this shade three wise girls is I don't even have the words. It's it's just a really beautiful coral pink, perfect for this spring. Honestly, I could see me doing an entire look just based on this one color. It's just a really beautiful lipstick all in all. As far as like a blotted lip look with a color like this, like you could apply this, blot it off, and it's going to last and look really beautiful. I mean, Every time I wear this, I'm glad that I did. It's a very, very stunning lip product. Honestly, pretty similar to the one from Lisa Eldridge. I'll talk about that one in a second. All right, I think I kind of messed this up. So these are the sheer lipsticks. Yeah, the Volet. So these are the, the sheer lipsticks from Gucci. This is their quote, satin lipstick. But here's the thing. It's satin, but it, it's just more pigmentation than the last one. So I think that's why I got confused. I apologize. But this is the shade Mildred Rosewood. This has just way more pigment. You can very middle of the road finish. It's also a slightly different color. I mean, that's Mildred Rose, Rosewood of the satin. And then this is the sheer. So take a look here. You know, they're very similar, but obviously like you could sheer this out and it would pretty much be the same. Doesn't it look like just something from the Anastasia movie? I said that about the Gucci bronzer too recently. There's just something about all of this that reminds me of my childhood, like watching that movie. Anyway, it is super beautiful. I just slightly prefer the more sheer version, but if you prefer a little bit more pigment, I would say go with this over that one. But you know, you still want a little bit less of a full pigment product. And lastly, this is my least favorite Gucci uh, lip product that I have. I also have the liquid lipstick, but you know, that's not in this video. This is Lynette Stone. It's, this is their brilliant lipstick. And essentially it's like their, their balm, their lipstick balm kind of product. The shade, 10 out of 10. 
I like this is what I wanted Chanel boy to be but the formula is just a little bit too thin for me if you do prefer a very very thin lip product with just a, a nice shine then I think that this is something that you could potentially like but for me it, it's just a little bit too thin and slippy on my lips we'll be keeping it though for the library so now let's talk about the NARS Afterglow Sensual Lipstick. Again, I just picked this up. I let you guys know that I would be picking it up in my recent Sephora savings event video. This is the shade Idolized. And I can't even tell you how excited I was for this. I could certainly include this in like my melting balm video, which I'm going to be um, filming pretty soon here. It's essentially my video talking about really glossy, balmy, lip balm-esque products that have been uh, trending recently. K-Beauty has been doing them for a very long time. Just gonna throw it out there. But this is just not what I expected. Is it very glossy and buildable in the gloss department? Yes, I mean, the color, gorgeous. The shine, beautiful. But, but I wish it was just a little thicker, just a touch thicker. However, I swatched a lot of the shades in person. The shades are stunning. They're really, really beautiful. The shine on here is obviously, it's very shiny and pretty, but I wish that they looked a little bit more of like that water droplet, true kind of jammy effect. And I think that these don't necessarily do that. So it depends on what you're looking for here. If you're looking for a very shiny, thinner lipstick, I think that you have a winner here. And honestly, what you get from NARS are really curated shades. I mean, with all of the lip products I've talked about yet, you don't buy luxury beauty or you shouldn't without getting a really pretty curated shade. I think that's something that kind of lacks in the affordable makeup realm. But anyway, so I am going to be keeping this. Um, if you guys want to see a demo of it, if you guys want more info on these um, to help with any purchasing decisions, just let me know. Let's talk about my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I have three here. Why is this so satisfying to me? Anyway, so here we go. I have the shade Stoned Rose. Stoned Rose has seen some better days. I will be passing it along just because I think it's just a touch too warm for me. Really just a touch too warm. It is very pretty though. So that's going to be my first declutter. Walk of No Shame, I will be keeping. This is their kissing formula. This is their matte formula. I think Walk of No Shame is really beautiful. So I will be keeping that. And then I have the shade Supermodel, also in the matte formula, which is another gorgeous shade. I see myself using these shades way more than that one. I will say though that the Charlotte Tilbury matte formula is pretty. I don't think it's the absolute best matte formula for dry lips. I think there are others that I would recommend before. Um, now that I've tried some more luxury lipsticks, like I, I do think that the Gucci is probably a better way to go. I'm kind of going everywhere now. I thought I was gonna like tackle this one and then go to the next one, but now I'm kind of going everywhere here. So let's talk about the Rare Beauty lipsticks. First of all, I love the packaging, like the way they kind of click out. I just find that to be very satisfying. They sent me all of the shades. I can definitely pass on some. This is the shade Talented. And by the way, this formula, it's just a very kind of middle of the road formula. Um, I don't think it's the best ever. I don't think it's, oh wait, this one hasn't even been used. This is the shade Wise. I'm going to pass this along. We have the shade Strong. Oh wait, Strong hasn't been used either. I'm sorry guys, I'm not, if it hasn't been even swatched, I'm going to just pass it along. This one has been swatched. This is Bold. Actually, I remember really liking Bold. Yeah, that that's really pretty. So I think I am going to keep Bold. I'm talented, I'm going to declutter. I have the shade Lively. Pretty, but I think I can declutter. And then I also have the shade Creative, which, which is just, I gotta tell you, a shade like this on me 
probably one of the worst shades that I could wear. A warm nude shade, like a light nude, looks really, really awful on me. It like really washes me out. But I know some, like these are some of some people's favorites. But anyway, so I'm going to just keep this one. Um, I do think, again, the formula is nice. The pigmentation is very even. Just specifically for me, because my lips lean drier, um, they don't get along as well with me. So, so you know, that's that. And we need a little coffee break here. Oh, that is, that is watered down. Oh, I have one more from Rare Beauty. It's the shade Fun. And again, has not been swatched, so it is going to go. I'm also going to declutter these lipsticks from Gen C. Um, so I have the shade She and Margaret. So here's the shade Margaret, very pretty shade. And then I also have She here. I actually do, oh wait, I haven't even swatched this one, so I'm just going to pass it along. It's, I don't, I don't know what to say, it feels, like this should be uh, like 10 bucks. This is not a cheap brand. The formula isn't anything like crazy. It doesn't like stop me in my tracks. It's not something I would reach for. So I'm going to declutter both of those. Kind of a bummer because I really had high hopes for those lipsticks. Some lipsticks I'm going to be keeping are the ones from Bobbi Brown. Um, these are the crushed lip colors. I have the shade Telluride one of my favorites. And then I also have the shade Coco. Really enjoy Coco as well. I think here's the deal with like these versus the ones from Merit, the ones from Gucci. I think that these are really pretty for that just classic kind of blotted lip color. Think of these as an alternative to something like the Glossier Generation Gs. I think they just have a little bit more grip. They're not quite as silicone-y as like those blotted lip colors tend to be. I think that this just achieves the blotted lip color effect without being really drying or weird on the lips. These look different than like a classic satin formula. These just, again, they feel more like that blotted lipstick kind of thing. They're quite stiff, which I actually really like about them, but I just have a feeling that like the everyday person going to work, the everyday person that really likes just like a very soft blotted lip will really enjoy these. I think they're just a better version of like a Generation G, if that makes sense. So keeping those, but let's say you're like, Amanda, I do want like a sheer, more sheer lipstick, but I want some more hydration. That is when I would guide you towards the NARS uh, lipsticks. You guys can see these have definitely seen better days. I have the shade Fabala, which is just a gorgeous, gorgeous berry brown, but it, but it has a little bit more purple, which I just find to be really pretty. I have the shade Chelsea Girls, which is one of their classic shades. It It's one of those throw it in your bag lip products. You can see these have quite more shine than the other lip products I've been talking about. I consider these to be almost like a lipstick lip balm kind of formula. I have the shade Damage, which is very purple. I know I'm going to be uh, passing this one along. I thought it would get along a little bit better with me, but you know, that's fine too. I have Tole Day, which is a satin. Um, their satin formula, which definitely has less shine than then their sheer formula. These are the shears and that's that's the satin. I love this one. Love it. Love their satin formula. But it's it's pretty because again, very neutral satin finish, great pigmentation, never drying. And I just feel like it looks less chalky on the lips than, you know, again, something like the ones from Rare Beauty. Even the ones from Charlotte Tilbury in my opinion. But again, you, you guys can see where my preference typically lies here. Um, and yeah, and this is my full size of Totally Day. So I'm going to be keeping all of these, um, except for damage. Though I do wonder about damage. You know how like you apply like more of a lilac shade to kind of brighten up a lip? I wonder if you could do that with a lipstick. I'm like adding it on top of these other ones to see like what it does. 
like this could be used to kind of change up your lip colors. So maybe I'll do like a quick little re reel on Instagram. You guys should definitely follow me on Instagram if you don't, I'll leave it down below. Or maybe I'll even do a YouTube short, but then after that I'll probably declutter this. Oh, how could I forget? Dolce Vita Sheer. I think my favorite of all the ones that I've talked about. Out of the NARS ones at least. It's, it's perfection. Perfection. This is the lipstick you put in your pocket and reapply on the road. Always flattering, great color. Again, it's like a grown-up version, in my opinion, of a lip gloss, even though it's a lipstick, but it, it's beautiful. I prefer this, I'm just gonna say it, I prefer this to Afterglow Sheer Lip. This is too slippy, this stays where you put it, um, but that's just my preference. That's my preference, but I give you guys all the information I have so that, you know, ultimately you guys can find the right product for you because that's my goal. My goal isn't to like convert everyone to having my preferences. That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, Cure Weiss. We have the shade Confidence. We have the shade Fearless. And we have the shade Authentic. You guys, I gotta tell you right now, actually, let's start with the positive. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say this. You can literally use these as a weapon. They're so heavy. Let me give you guys an idea. When I set these down, listen to the sound. That's heavy. Listen to the Gen C. You hear how it's so like much higher, the sound, versus Cure Wise. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what I mean. I, I really like that they're heavy and luxe feeling, but this formula is not it. It's, it really drags on the lips. The colors are beautiful. Like, do you see how, like, do you see how they're like, they're, they're drying up on their own. I think I'm going to keep this shade authentic for the library. Keep this one and I'm going to declare these. I have this little mini of Amazing Amal from Charlotte Tilbury. Oh God, that's pretty. Okay. Keeping this. <laughs> Found another Cure Weiss lipstick. I'm so confused. I thought I already had this shade. This is the shade Euphoria. Again, very pretty shade, but needs to go. They definitely do last though, because they don't want to move off my hand. Now these Flower Beauty lipsticks, the Perfect Palette Moisturizing Lipsticks, I was really hoping these were going to be a dupe for my Merit but they are not. They're just like a, a nice kind of sheer, shiny lipstick. That's the shade Blush Rose. I have the shade Blossom, which is my favorite. The shade Rose Petal, which I guess it's, that could be a rose petal. And then finally the shade Jasmine, which is very, very pretty. I think I'm going to declutter Jasmine and Rose Petal. And out of these two, I will say here's the shade Slip from Merit. In case you were wondering if that is a dupe, it it's not perfect, but you know, I can see why there would be some similarities. This is the shade 1990 right here. You can see even from the textures how different they are. They're uh, they're not dupes, but I mean, you guys know how it goes. I think I'm going to stick with Blush Rose. I'll keep Blush Rose and then also Declutter Blossom. Now these are from Sephora Collection and I'm pretty sure they're the same shade. Yeah, they're both L20. Somehow bought two. And ironically, I don't, it's not my favorite. So I'm going to declutter these. Ah, Revlon lipsticks. I have the cream lipstick in Extra Spicy. Great shade. I have the shade Blushed 420 Pearl, which I know I'm going to be decluttering, just not my favorite. And then 130 uh, Rose Velvet, which is a cream. Just really nice shades. The formula is very 
basic, I would say. It's like, it's shiny, but it doesn't necessarily look moisturizing on the lips, but it's not bad. It's just kind of, you know, it is what it is kind of product. I think I'm going to keep the shade Rose Velvet and then declutter these two. Now, this is a really special lipstick. This is Business Casual from MAC in the uh, Luster Glass lipsticks. This is a very shiny lipstick that, in my opinion, just looks more flattering on the lips comparatively to like the Revlon. Like, I don't know if you can even tell from the swatch. It, there's more moisture and there's a smoothness it's just going to be more flattering in my opinion um, than like the ones from Revlon. I definitely think that these are worth um, the money. I think they're beautiful. I gotta tell you, we talked earlier about some of my top lipsticks. These specific ones from Chanel are my top favorites. And in fact, I do think I'm going to be picking up another one soon. Um, so these are the Rouge Coco Satin Lipsticks. This is the shade Mademoiselle. 434 it's perfection if you like you know people that are obsessed with charlotte tilbury pillow talk please check this out if you are one of those people but you want a satin lipstick version of that there's a great stiffness to this so the formula is going to stick where you put it on the lips but it's still going to be moisturizing it's still relatively thin so you don't have this kind of creamy layer um, that differentiation between the lips and the color. Um, you could easily blot these down. Suzanne, though, I, I didn't know I was going to love Suzanne as much as I did, but Suzanne is it. It's, they're beautiful. These are very much my shades. <laughs> you guys can probably see a trend here. And I do prefer the Chanel smell of the lipsticks to the ones, like the Gucci ones, and I think that the satin lipsticks from Chanel are better than the satin lipsticks from Gucci and even better than the sheer lipsticks. So it's probably like Merit and Chanel are like neck and neck as far as my favorite lipstick formula and NARS is in there somewhere as well. The Chanel's just more of a faint powdery smell um, rather than like a little bit stronger of that floral. They're beautiful. I never, never regret trying to incorporate these into a look. And again, it's it's one of those lipsticks that's really easy to use and to reapply. Beautiful, classic packaging. Um, probably one of my favorite products I've ever tried from Chanel. Certainly keeping those. And if you are a lover of this lipstick formula and you are like, Amanda, I know this one color is going to look amazing on you, go ahead and... <laughs> Go ahead and drop it in the comments. Go ahead and enable me. I, I'm open to that. But not every product from Chanel is a winner for me, as you know, as a lot of you guys know. So this is the Rouge Coco Flash and Boy. I uh, referenced this earlier today. Coco Boy, and I think I am gonna swatch that Gucci for you. This is Lynette Stone from Gucci. Um, I just say go ahead with Lynette Stone from Gucci. The shades you can see are are very, very similar. Lynette Stone is maybe a touch more yellow. Either way, you know, they're pretty much ugh, pretty much interchangeable in a sense. It's just too, too thin for me. Um, kind of feels like nothing eventually. And again, that's just not what I want. It feels like almost like after I wear these, my lips feel drier. I don't know how to describe it. Um, maybe some of you have experienced that, but there, there are those two shades. Maybe if you really like Rouge Coco Boy, you could try out Gucci Lynette Stone or vice versa, but hopefully that's helpful either way. But this is staying as like a library item for, you know, instances like I just had with you guys. You know, if one of my friends wants it, they can have it at this point. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm open to decluttering some library items if my friends really want them. Um, and then lastly, we have the Rouge Coco Bloom in 118 Radiant. I was really excited about this. Um, it's just a more pigmented, creamier version of the two products we just talked about. This is insanely thin, um, great shine, but again, it's just not, not my preference as far as lip products go. I kind of want to do like a luxury lipstick overview maybe one time in the future. So I am going to keep this for now. But again, you know, I would much rather have my 
my faves, my, my satin lipsticks, the Rouge Coco Satins. But, you know, let's talk about some other lipsticks from 3CE, which ugh, 3CE is one of my favorite brands. I have two shades here. I have their um, collaboration packaging with toilet paper mag. I actually posted this and everyone was like, why does it say toilet paper? <laughs> toilet paper mag is like kind of like an art magazine, just really, really fascinating art. I loved all this packaging, um, but this is the shade Sensual Breeze. I want you to notice the way this kind of silicone formula performs and looks in this swatch versus some of the other ones we've talked about. So I also have the shade, what is it, Overtake? No, Speak To Me. Also, ugh, I mean, they're very similar. You don't need both. So hopefully, you know, my videos can be helpful and these swatches can be helpful for you guys. But do you see how smooth this looks, but it's still a relatively thin formula. This is so, it, it's one of my favorite blotted lipstick textures that I have found, period. The way it's able to just sheer out in such a smooth, even way means essentially that their lab and, you know, 3CE in general, they know what they're doing when it comes to a blotted lip. They understand how to get there without it being an awkward, weird kind of formula. You know, if you're familiar with something like the matte liquid lips from Rare Beauty, that's more of a silicone heavy formula, but it looks like a silicone heavy formula because you can see the clear differentiation between that lip product and your lips. This kind of product will give you a smoothing effect, great pigmentation, but is much thinner and is not going to do that as readily. So all that's to say is that I love these and will be keep them. I would love to try out some other shades as well. Go figure. Cider from e.l.f. I wanted this to, I was just curious to see if this was going to be an alternative to the one from 3CE. And I don't think it is. This is a satin. Um, but the formula is not bad. I need more experience with it though. So I am going to keep this for now. Rouge Pure Couture Matte Lip Color. I've had it for very long and I know it's kind of old. I keep it though for this shade. This is the shade 208. I'm not even positive they have this shade anymore, but it just, it, it's, I, I don't know how to explain it. it. It just does something for me. Such an incredible neon. I, I'm going to keep it in the library. The formula is pretty good, by the way. And it's a little sweeter, like it's a floral still as far as the scent, but it is a touch sweeter. So I do really don't mind that one. I just find that that one's unexpectedly flattering on me. Let's do a little makeup organizing for the lipsticks I know I'm going to be keeping. This is progress. I'm feeling good about this. Oh my gosh, why is it so pretty? Okay. This is all we have left here. I know I'm going to be keeping this Heart Core lipstick from Too Faced in the shade Sweet Tea. It's just, it's really, really pretty. It's more of a stiff lipstick, which I really enjoy. Really pretty shine. This is the only shade I like though. All the other shades are kind of awkward, but if you like this more kind of rosy taupe shade, um, I definitely like these. And again, it's like a nice kind of sweet fruity smell. So none of like the florals or anything like that. Actually a similar shade is Dior Addict Bandana. This is the Rouge Brilliant Shine Lipstick. And this shade, oh my gosh. Oh, actually maybe it's not as similar as I remembered. This formula from Dior is, again, one of those really shiny, kind of slippier lipsticks. I just I just wish it was a little bit thicker. Very similar to the one from Chanel, but a little bit thicker than that one. In general, just not, you know, my favorite, but the color, keeping for the color, really. Maybe I'll find another uh, lip product that is pretty much the same color and then I'll declutter that one. I am going to declare the Stellar Shine from Dior because I do think they discontinued this. Um, it's 649. I much preferred this formula. Do you see how this is stiffer 
than the last formula. This feels, it's more of like that glossy, stiff lipstick texture that I tend to really enjoy. Love this color. It, it's just a shame. This to me is, is where it's at versus the other one. If you can still get this, I will link it down below and I will keep this, but if you can't, then I will probably declutter because it's difficult for me to wear products that you guys can't get. These I do think are being discontinued, so I am probably going to declutter them, but they are the Sephora Clean Lipsticks. It's a shame because I think that these are not a bad product at all. So this is the shade Aster, great shade. I mean, beautiful shade. We have the shade Primrose, which is another one of my favorites. Again, just like stiff, satin, middle of the road lipsticks, just in general, a good formula. Now these two shades I don't like as much. We have the shade Dandelion, but again, I think some of you would be really into that kind of shade. And do you see how I'm like, this is a stiff lipstick. I, I really enjoy the stiffness of it for control. And then we have the shade Cherry Blossom over here, Cherry Blossom. So I think I'm going to declutter, I think I'm decluttering Cherry Blossom and Dandelion. I'm going to keep these two, but um, if you can still find these in stores, I do recommend them. I'll try and link them down below, um, but keeping these for now, but again, we'll, we'll see whether or not they're discontinued. I'd really love to try uh, Hourglass's new lipsticks, but this is one of their old like stylist lipsticks. And this is the, they're refillable. I just bought the refill because I was feeling like I just wanted the shade. And this is the shade, oh God, come on. This is the shade you make me. It's just a beautiful terracotta brick shade. I'd love to see this color in maybe like the Laura Mercier formula because I think I slightly prefer the Laura Mercier formula, I think. I do have a couple of lipsticks from Buxom. These are the Full Force Plumping Lipsticks. I have the shade Supermodel, which is my favorite. Beautiful shade. And by the way, these do, they have a tingle. So if, if you're into that. Um, and then the shade Goddess right here, which I don't like the shade Goddess as much. So I'm going to, sh I'm going to declutter that one, but keeping this and will feature it in my upcoming Lip Plumper video. The Lisa Eldridge Velvet Muse Lipstick. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Great even pigmentation, looks and feels luxurious and extremely velvety on the lips. The shade is beautiful and do you see the way it spreads? That is what I'm looking for, that evenness and effortlessness and they definitely do that. I would, I would love to try other Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, other shades, cause this is just, it's a very, very beautiful one. And by the way, there's no like crazy smell to this either, which, you know, with a lot of these lipsticks you don't get. Great magnetic closure, beautiful packaging. Um, definitely a winner in my opinion. Now the ones from Makeup by Mario, I do also like, they're, it's similar. Um, I think the difference is these are a little bit creamier than the ones from Lisa Eldridge. This shade, Annie, is uh, one of my favorite shades. It's very flattering on me. It's just very balanced and I always go to it when I want to feel really pretty. I wish there was just a touch less silicone to this formula. I think it's a good one. I would still recommend it, but I, you know, I see a difference in these two formulas, but that's to be expected. They're, they're completely different price points. I think I am going to pass along this Lux lipstick in Desert Sun from Bobbi Brown. I'm just not reaching for it. I think it's just cause it's a lot of pigment. I wish it was just like the pigment was touched, like just a touch down. Maybe one of like the more rosy wearable shades would, I would just get more use out of it. Um, but let me know. I don't know even if they, do they still make this? I, I think I'm going to declutter this and then potentially in the future look into one of the other shades. Cause I do think if you want one of those like melting balm glossy kind of formulas, this this could be it for you. Next, I have the Well People lipstick in the shade Namaste. Oh my God, look at that color. Absolutely beautiful. And I just, I just enjoy kind of these like cooler taupey pinks. 
feel also feels luxurious as well. Um, I'm going to be keeping that and I only have two more here. My hand is kind of grateful, I gotta be honest. The Radiant Shine Lipstick from Ulta Beauty. It's the shade 352. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I, I think it's just the shade. The formula seems okay, though it is a little milky. I think it could just be because of this shade, but I'm going to declutter that. And finally, I have this lipstick from Romand. It This is one of their like really vibrant matte lipsticks. It's the shade 03. I'll, I'll leave it down below. Um, I'm still getting to know it, but here, I gotta tell you, leave it to K-Beauty. Look at that beautiful, even pigmentation that is going to be matte, but still give you that flawless, blotted matte look. That's just good makeup to me. The packaging, do I like this kind of gray? Not really, I, I want it to feel, I don't know, I, I just don't, but you know, for me, formula is number one. And this is just a, a damn good formula for, for me thus far. Let's go ahead and organize my decluttering products. Here are the lipsticks I'm going to be decluttering. And here are the lipsticks that I am keeping. Not bad, not bad. I think we did a pretty decent job here today. I'm going to leave my decluttering playlist uh, down below for you guys. Make sure to subscribe before you go and just let me know, what do you wanna see me declutter next? Cause you know, I'm doing my rounds, no one's safe. I'll leave everything down below for you guys, all the products. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in my next one.